Let's have a look at uh, working with some head sculpting and a bit of head painting today. So um, we've got a file set up that is available. I have it either to down download down below here or uh, if you're in Google Classroom, you'll be able to download it straight off the um, group of files there. So uh, when you open the file up, which is called Head Sculpt 2, you uh, will see that there's a head here. So let's have a look. Okay, um, so it's a basic human head. It's fairly um, simple. And if I flip it into cycles, so we set up in cycles into rendered mode, you can see here that we're starting out with a basic uh, white texture and with um, eyes set up on it as well. Okay, so let's just have a look now. Let's knock it back into solid mode. And first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna put it into sculpt mode so I select it down here, and we can see up on the left-hand side here, it's got all the sculpt tools. Um, so I can start off with this sculpt drawer, you can see, and I can start to draw onto the surface here. Okay, and the drawer, you can see it's adding material. So I can add material, say, onto this brow line. Now if, and I've got this file is set up with a mirror. So what you do on one side will appear on the other side as well. Now, if we have a look, if we click on that, you can see that it's got lots of other tools as well. Um, so have an explore with those and see what they do. The other controls here, we've got a radius, controls the size of our, um, of our tool. Okay, so let's bring that down a little bit. And also the strength controls how powerful it is. Okay, so you can see now I've got that strength turned up and it gives me a lot more power with how it works. Um, there's not too much you need to know about that except that it's got symmetry turned on on both sides. Okay, so if you want to do something and make it a, not symmetrical, then you just need to turn that off okay so um, have a play around with that and see if you can create some kind of interesting character design with the um, sculpting tools as we're working along it's also we've got set up here a texture paint layer so I've set this up for you at the moment so you just come down here and select texture paint that's good and we'll flip into uh, so material mode here, so I'm going to select say a blue and Same sort of thing. I've got a radius size on my brush here. I've got a color and a strength and you can see that I can start painting directly onto the surface of my model Okay That's Good so then I can start turning it around grabbing multiple colors working them over the top of one another. It gets interesting with this once you turn the strength down a little bit so there's a little bit more transparency between layers and you can start to mix colors up and get them working. So you can adjust your brush size to make that all happen. So again, you'll be able to paint in some good textures with this and get it working. So I'll just fill this in a little bit just so you can get the idea. Okay, so it's nice and easy to use. You can see because I've got the um, strength turned down a little bit, you get some kind of interesting effects where the colors cross over. Okay, I'll paint around the eye maybe. Work around here a little bit. Blend this back a little bit. Okay, so I think you get the idea of how it works. So once you have a creature or a person or whatever you decide it's going to be that has been um, sculpted and given some paint as well. You can go, come up to the render image, click on render image and um, we'll let it do a render now, it shouldn't take too long. 
So I've got camera and lighting rig already set up to do the render. So, and it's set to a reasonable quality. It's set to about 1080p. So it's nearly there now. You can see that with the cycles renderer, um, it's set to uh, cycle about 100 times. Giving us a sort of reasonable quality sort of result, but um, it's fairly fast as well, and we'll render it on the black background. So it's done now, so um, lighting and everything has been set up obviously as well. So all you've got to do is come down here to image, and then we can save the image, save as image. Okay, save that out, save that to the desktop. I'm going to for me anyway and I'll set it up as a JPEG let's give it a name hit render JPEG and save as an image okay cool and that's ready for printing so um, that's a nice easy um, introduction to some sculpting and some painting within the um, modeling tools of blender okay so thanks very much for your time and I'll see you later